Hello everyone. Welcome to those who are new and welcome back to those who are not. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome in Jesus Christ's name. At the end of this video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe and also share this video. Results of Repentance When an individual repented, it comes with results. And the results it comes with, it's an evidence to show that we have truly repented. The first result that repentance brings is great joy. When the prodigal son repented, there was much rejoicing. In the book of St. Luke 15 verse 23, the prodigal son father said, And bring hither the fatted calf and kill it. Let us eat and be merry. Jesus also said, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. That's St. Luke 15 verse 7. There is great joy in knowing God's wonderful forgiveness. When the Samaritans gave heed to Philip's preaching, there was great joy in that city. Let's read it. Acts 8 verses 5 to 8. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing miracles which he did. For unclean spirits crying out loud, voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame, were healed, and there was great joy in that city. Repentance also comes with new birth. Know that the whole sinful man is dead through repentance. A believer is ready for the new birth, which consists of the two elements, water and spirit. Jesus said to Nicodemus, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. St. John 3 verse 5. Water baptism is a muscle for each and every one of us. Of course, following a death, there must be a burial. The whole sinful man must be put away. Therefore, we are buried with him, with him, Jesus Christ, by baptism into death. Romans 6 and verse 4. And also Colossians 2, verse 12. Repentance must be followed by water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. St. Luke 24, verse 47. And also Acts 2, verse 38. And now, why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins, calling upon the name of the Lord. Acts 2, verse 16. Well, let's take a little further. Add verse 17 to it. Because we need to talk about the Holy Spirit baptism also. Let's read. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Verse 17. And shall come to pass in the last days, said God. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall see dreams. The Holy Spirit baptism 
is typical of the remission of the resurrection of Christ. That's Romans 6, verse 5, and verse 8, verse 11 also. And Colossians 2, verse 12. This completes our new birth and makes us new person in Christ. Now Ezekiel prophesied about this glorious experience. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and cause you to walk in my status, and he shall keep my judgments and do them. Let's take a look also at Ezekiel 36, verses 26 and 27. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That is 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7. Also Acts 1, verse 8. And Romans 5, verses 5, 8. And nine. Now I want you to sit and meditate on these scriptures. Look also in Ezekiel 36. Read through there. Now Ezekiel was a man without the Holy Ghost. Because Ezekiel would go home before Christ come and hurt, before the Holy Ghost was given unto man. But yet the Lord opened his vision. And show him the Holy Ghost to come upon all flesh. And Ezekiel makes sure to pen it before he was taken out of this earth. What are you waiting on, my unsaved friend? I call you unto repentance. There's joy in one repented. There's Great comfort, a peace of mind. Yes, a beautiful smile. Not telling you that everything will be smooth on this side. You have to go through. But it's better going through with Christ than going through with all Christ. It's also easier going through with Christ than going through without Christ. Upon hearing this audio, stop, think, meditate, and look into it. Don't you want to experience that great joy? Don't you want to experience water baptism? Don't you want to experience Holy Ghost baptism? Don't you want to experience it? It is something that tongue will never live long on this earth to tell the fullness of. It's a great joy. It's the best joy anyone could ever ask for, anyone could ever feel, anyone could ever have. To encourage you, come. God bless you all. Do have yourself a wonderful Morning, good afternoon, wonderful good evening, and wonderful night. In Jesus Christ's name, please take in the rest of the audio and repentance. Very important for man to repent and turn to Christ. God bless you.